10,000 years, and we'll just be getting started in heaven. I've got a happy announcement to make and then a sad one. The first one is, uh, this is a flag. Now the flag that's flying in front of the church is getting kind of old and ragged. But this is a gift from uh, Pat Jenkins. This was Bob Jenkins' flag that was presented to him for a service to his country. And she has given this to the church. And so maybe on special occasions I want to fly this flag. We're going to get another like an all-weather flag. But this is a, a beautiful flag. And so we'll fly it uh, and uh, remember Bob when we see it. And the second thing is I was, and I'm going to give this to Duke. Now, Duke, you don't have to do this. You can do what you're always telling me. Find some delegate, see? <laughs> he says, oh, okay. <laughs> but if you need a hand, give me a holler. <laughs> okay. And then the second thing is a sad, kind of a sad one. And that's, uh, I got a call that Betty Carter's son died Friday night. And uh, she's one of our teachers, and that's the second time I've been called that one of her children had died. And she had three children, Jerry, Teresa, and Charles. And uh, Jerry died of a full cardiac arrest not long ago, a few, it seems like yesterday. And then uh, Friday night, her son, their son, uh, Charles died and uh, she has one child left, Teresa, and she's very, very grieved, very sad. I think before we read scripture today, we're going to be reading Acts chapter 1. You'll understand why I believe it is so important for us to share the good news of Jesus Christ while we have time. It is critical. You and I don't know what a day can bring. And it's important for people to know Christ. And of course we want to make disciples. We want to leave them there. But we've got to start with sharing the good news of Christ. Important. Would you stand with me for prayer? I want to pray for Betty and her family. And, and um, Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus because we need you. We desperately need you. Right now, Betty and Nick Carter need you so much. With the death of their son, and it's still fresh on their mind with the death of their daughter, and now we have uh, just a time where we just our hearts are breaking for them, and we love them, and we pray that you might minister comfort to them and strength and wisdom and healing. Please, please help Nick and Betty to know your presence in their life. And uh, I pray they'd be comforted by knowing you're with them and will never leave and forsake them. And Father, we know it's so important for us to tell people about Christ. It was good yesterday to sit in their home and hear that Charles had given his life to Jesus Christ when he was a, a youth. And um, I'm very, very grateful to have heard that news, that testimony yesterday. And uh, that gives her hope and will comfort her in the years and neck in the years to come. Now we pray that you would speak to us because we, we need your help to do the things that you've called us to do. To reach people for Christ and to make disciples and to... Uh, and to love one another and care for one another and worship you, all these things, we desperately need your help. 